Oh, hey everybody, Fen here. By popular request, I guess I'm just going to play A Dire Return now. Shrug. This one's by Intruder, who did uh, Keeper Investigations, a quite interesting series of missions and stuff. It's for the Thief Reloaded Contest, uh, se the second, and it's a running interference, which is very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that level remade. Apparently it's quite scary. Says here it was based with inspiration from the Cradle, oh yeah, and the Ocean House in Vampires the Masquerade Bloodlines, which, believe it or not, I have played just so I could see this rumored Ocean House, and it is indeed pretty scary. Now, there's this big old uh, bunch of text here that's like a story, but then there's also a video with an abridged version. It seems kind of redundant for me to read it uh, while there's also a video, so maybe you guys can just, you know, read this Pause, you know, read that if you want to. And I'll just start the video without further babbling. Here we go. I received a letter from Basso and Genevieve. Sarah, one of our best contacts, has been missing for more than two weeks. I'll meet Basso and Genevieve at the Crippled Burr again. Seems like they already have a plan. When I reached the pub, they were already waiting for me. I will break into the Rumford Manor again and search for any signs of Sarah. The manor was rebuilt after the old Rumfords disappeared, and Lord Bailing Rumford, the younger brother of old Lord Rumford, took over the place. I've got the feeling that this is going to be interesting. Interesting indeed, my fine fellow. What's the difficulty differences here? Well, there are different numbers of objectives. I guess one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Well, okay. Don't knock out more people than I have to. Oh, really? Do I want that? Do I want that? Oh, I mean, normal is a cop-out. Hard and expert are good, but they have the little... Oh, fine. Gonna regret it. But, pff, whatever. Find Sarah, you know, find out whether she's still working there. Oh, my God. Or whether she's dead or a zombie or something. I don't know. Get a bunch of loot. Don't kill. Don't knock out. Pff. So, yeah, leave the mansion. Fine. Fine enough. I'm gonna leave. Oh, it's a store, and I got a tip just automatically there. It's, it's crazy. Now, given that I'm probably expecting someone dead here, I guess I seem to be pretty well equipped already. I mean, the only other thing I can really... I don't really need that. I mean... Oh, they don't give me much options, do they? Well... Whatever. Healing potion? It's for losers. Whoa. Nice. It's raining and stuff. Oh god, that's... It's gonna turn me into an epileptic out of not being one. That's pretty seizurific. Uh, perhaps a few too many... F oh my god, that's... Wow. What did I... Oh, this is a grave. Okay, it's a gravestone. That's, that's pretty fantastic. But seriously, uh, that's, that's kind of... Wow. I guess, oh, yeah, there's this entrance over here. Jesus! <laughs> okay, seriously. Oh, I'm on that. I guess that's a new passage since uh, the first time, the time timed. I don't know if there's anything in Not here. More than be recognized. Oh. Uh, someone there. Main entrance and gate. Do I need this? Well, maybe not. Oh, see, there's a healing potion. I get it for free in a total chest. Totally, dude. I guess I'm going to be eating my silly commentary soon no will because this mission is supposed to be scary and I'll no longer be talking jollily or jauntily but uh, in fact in fact Hello. are my eyes hurting because my monitor is at 60 Hertz or is it just oh wow yeah I get the I get the like you know it lights things up and and that's like an element to the stealth but make it not flash seriously uh, Wow that's all I'm gonna be complaining about till I get inside that is Hopefully, lightning will not penetrate inside the building. That would Hello? be a gross 
failure of architecture and uh, see this is it's really interesting though what I oh hey new stuff was built all around the side wow it's huge because uh, in the, I have to like follow this guy I can't just I can't just stay in the darkness because he's going to turn around and it won't be dark anymore when the lightning flashes. That's that's very interesting. And uh I'm not sure if I've ever seen that done before in fact. That's and combined with me having a very strict knockout limit, I'm certainly not going to knock anybody out without a lot of due consideration. I mean, if he's just walking around, I don't really think it's worth it. Uh Yeah. Now, if he's sitting and blocking something necessary, then it might be worth it. But uh, it looks like this must have been a pretty big overhaul. Yes, indeed. Because this land... Uh-oh. Scape is quite large. So maybe this shed is a good place to hide while that guy walks around the other way, perhaps? I think that could be a good use for a thing that I've commandeered. Except this time he didn't turn around somehow. And he's still walking that way. Well, fine with me. Oi! You don't put dirt in a well. Who are you gonna... What are you gonna dig up dirt for? I mean, jeez. Digging up dirt is what you do when you're a crooked cop. And you're like, we're digging up dirt. And it's like, yeah, detective, we sure are. Buddy boy, boy. That's how old detectives talk, right? Buddy boy, boy. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm not too scared yet. I'm quite brave. Oh god, it's a zombie wearing a clown suit. Yes. Very frightening. Yeah, this is quite a whole other dimension and with the basically dynamic lighting and not lighting there. You have to actually watch your timing as well as your position. That That's very, very cool. I just keep saying that, but it's, you know, for real. However, I've got the main gate key. I get the feeling like, duh, maybe I'm actually supposed to go in the main gate. You know, just a sort of thought that I'm having here. Because this thing seems to probably just go all the way around the house back to the front again. You know, if you ask me, that's kind of what it looks like. And uh, my journey here has taken up the entire video time. You know, I thought this mission was going to be pretty small, because the original mission was fairly relatively small, but I am quite willing to admit I could probably be wrong. But it looks like the mission mostly is inside the manor, but then could be underneath too, I suppose. That's, that's a possibility. Alright, so watch out for this guy, I suppose. What's that? Hey! Ah, Hold it right there! Didn't watch out enough. Alright. I don't know if I even... Who's over there? Hey, you... ah! That's, uh... Ah! Well, I could knock him out, but it almost seems like because he gives you a knockout limit, that almost seems like they're just encouraging you to ghost it completely and only giving you the wiggle room because that's only fair or whatever. I just want to make sure there's absolutely no other option before I make him part of my knockout count because I've only got three. I can knock out three people and that's it. And I don't just want to go doing it willy-nilly here. Let me just take a quick look. Okay, no rope arrows, so that's out. All right, well, there's this guy with... Uh-oh. Another key on him. Oh, Christ. Okay, that's just another copy of that. Well, now I know. I forgot, I've got this tip from Genevieve here. If you're looking for Sarah, it is best to start searching for her in the servants' quarters down in the basement. There's also a schedule posted next to the kitchen. Maybe you will find some information on that schedule about whether she has quit her job. As far as I've heard, not much has changed in the basement since you brought me out of there. This should make things easier for you. However, I don't know anything about the new parts of the manor. Genevieve. Alright. I guess this map doesn't tell me anything new. It's literally... Yeah, it's basically the old one with stuff crossed out. Well, okay, then. We don't know what is up here on the third floor, but it shouldn't be a problem for you all. That guy turns that way when he turns, so I can probably sneak behind him on this side. 
Uh, except, you know. Also, I'm sheltered from the light flashes in here, because, you know, the big old roof casting a shadow. Let's do it. Oh, stop right there! It's marble! <laughs> no mosses. I just saw something weird. Let me show it to you. That roof is smoking, and now it isn't. Weird. You know, something just tells me that even though I got the gate key, this just doesn't seem like the right way in. But I mean, I, I can't pick open any of these other doors here, but something tells me that what with the guy there and the marble, something's just not quite right. Well, I can climb up here without making undue noise. I don't know if that's an oversight or whatever, but I can have a look from up here. Okay, I get the feeling that was an oversight. And of course, this is not nearly close enough for me to jump over from here. Although, that fence seems to have disappeared. thought there was going to be no fence there and I'd get lucky, but no. Now I have to trap myself in here forever, which there really should be an easter egg here if I were him, but hey, oh well. Well, I guess I'll just have to try to walk slowly. Uh. All right, who's making the rocket? Uh. All right, <coughs> in without any seconds. But with a racket making. All right, what was <laughs> I swear, creep, crouch, crawl, sometimes you work, sometimes you don't. Alright. I really still get the feeling this is not the right way in. I mean, look how head on this assault is. It doesn't even make sense. But I couldn't open those other doors. I must have missed something. Alright, well, I was playing around and apparently these are actually items. Could have fooled me. I mean, I didn't pick them up because they normally are just there to make noise and. I don't really do anything. I mean, I... Am I supposed to dig this well out or something? Am I supposed to dig that grave? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Now, these guys see me no matter what. I can't sneak up behind them. They they see me all the time, so I'm, I'm not supposed to be here. Dude, what kind of a start is this? What am I, stupid? Everybody got beyond... There I go again. Calm down and, and just think. There's a key on the table. <sighs> I am an idiot. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, side entrance. Not the back one, but the side is enough. Very well, now that I've wasted everybody's time for like 10 hours, I can finally enter the freaking mansion. Uh, I guess I'll re-get those things first. There we are. Alright, well, things haven't changed too much. There are lots of guys with keys on their waists over here in case I manage to somehow get in through that. I hear whispers. That's not good. Whispers are frightening. Now, which door should I go in first? This is the one I normally went into when I do the original. Um, <laughs> Alrighty then. Live guards, but still scary noises happening. Well, I'm glad to see a regular human sleeping. And now I expect something horrible to happen. Just because I said Is someone that. there? Eh. If by horrible you mean he wakes up, I guess you could count that. But I won't. But there's no more lightning and stuff, so uh, even something though there may... Huh. There may be screams, however. But, uh... No apparent other victims of society going on around here. So this room hasn't gotten any more interesting since the first uh, original level. I guess uh, here's the tutorial hallway where you put out a torch. I remember how to put out a torch. I'm uh, great 
and amazing. Uh oh. Now, again, I do not want to knock out anybody if I don't totally have to. So, I will not be knocking anybody out if I can help it, unless they're like really, really in the way. That's my statement, and I'm sticking to it. Alrighty, so those guys freak Probably out if I open that the sir door. Checking up on things. The sir is dead, apparently, according to some readable or other, so I don't know what your problem is. Well, these places at least do not. Well, do not look too modified. Yeah. Do you freak out if I. No, it was just some sort of coincidence. Okay, well then, fine then. Normally, if I were playing this mission as a kid, the original, I would just knock those guys out, but since I'm not, I'm not. Uh, uh, I suppose this should be taken as a brief respite or respite before what I presume is coming here. You uh, guys ought to get that fixed. It's just simply won't do. Now, I don't know if this switch is still here. I don't even remember where it was, so maybe it isn't. I don't know. Guessing it isn't here at all. Because I, I don't think I found... Well, I mean, I didn't find it, so I'm just gonna leave it, I suppose? That sounds... reasonable. I don't know. Where am I? This house is a bit of a maze. I can't quite remember. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm only over here. Jeez, I thought I was farther along. Well, excuse me. Thinking that. I could swear there was... Like, another door on that side or something taking me farther along. But no, I guess not. Alright. Okay, well, so... Oh, that must have been... <laughs> Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> well... Hmm. Yeah. Sort of deal. Okay, well, so far I haven't found any ghost, ghouls, or goblins, but I have found some shrieking and some whispering. So, that's something, I suppose. It's... You know, I suppose I can accept it. Once again, that room has a light that's on. Mm. And more people in it. What? Uh oh. I had better wait to open this door until that guard is far out of this room and everybody else that I can see is as far away as possible too because that is going to just cause havoc and chaos and be the first like really unexpected event in this whole freaking mission so uh, off you go then shoo along there don't just pause by the door you don't hear a single thing nope just adding some levity with my silly talkings to this mission which is going to get quite scary I guess not that it isn't totally slightly scary but uh, something like the ghost house which is so freaking scary, I never even got past that one part. Is someone there? Oh, I see him. Him. Maybe I better do Yes, maybe I'd better do this where they don't actually see me, but just see that room's light flashing. Because I don't know if, if it changes anything, but uh... How do I trigger it? It's odd. How? Oh. Is someone there? Ah. <laughs> Shut up! This dude's servant with his dumb root and that guy's coming back here. Just go away! Okay. Trigger the hellish room. Pots and pans flying everywhere. Poltergeists everywhere. Oh, really? So they actually did run the last time because of me. That's... Now, hang on. Okay, not more than three people at all. Not just guards versus servants. I can't knock out anybody at all if it's more than three. Ah, <sighs> this is... 
not good. There's two people in that room, and now they're going to be on full alert, like, pretty much forever. What's that? Hmm. I didn't know it was so easy to get past that guy. This is a direct order to all servants. My brother Balin, Balin, who recently returned from the war against Blackbrook, will be our guest during the next few weeks. I don't think I have to remind you how well he served the Baron and what an honor it is to house him as a guest. I expect that you will treat him with all due respect, Lord Rumford. Servant shift schedule. Mila John, Sarah, Sarah. Where is Sarah, Mila John? Caddy? Caddy? <laughs> Caddy by name, caddy by nature. Uh, yeah. Sarah did not show up yesterday. As somebody now. Oh, I see. So that's some information on. They they don't know where she is. Okay. All right. So. Uh, I know what happened to her? I guess. Thought I saw something. Who is stepping around? Uh. Nothing there now. Well, this is a different thing. Cause normally you'd go through the kitchen to get past this guy, but in this mission, the kitchen is the room you want to avoid. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Alright, could we... Yeah, you'd get up in that hallway and stuff. Hmm. Odd noises. Very weird. Oh, so it's like almost like a puzzle kind of mission then. Sort of. Also, this light is on. I'm pretty sure it's not on in the original. Yeah, pretty sure. All right, whispering. I don't know. This isn't. All right. This isn't that bad so far. A little cute event in the kitchen. Uh, I don't know, man. Really isn't that terrifying so far. Oh my god, those chairs though, they're ghosts. They are wrapped in sheets. Oh, there's multiple layers of. Well, that's pretty scary. There's probably something horrible behind here. Somebody's grave, or somebody's body who is still living, or merely just an alarm clock. Long overrun by an old Wellington boot. Wow, that's. I don't know. To me, these crates seem... A dummy. Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> seems suspicious to have this many crates, almost like they're trying to block off more than they were trying to block off in the original mission. But it's probably just me thinking that. I don't know. Just kind of seems... What if we're here? Probably... It's a square on the ground. What do I have to use... Well, this seems to be some sort of puzzle mission, so, you know, I'll put the dress on the hole. It makes absolutely no sense, and lo and behold, it didn't do anything. What a shock. And now I've boxed myself in. I see what it was now. I see the deadly trap. It was for me to get greedy and put all the boxes here. Now I'm trapped here forever in my grave. At least until next time, see you guys then.